let's take a look at how many grams of flour are in one cup. And then we'll talk about the correct way to measure out flour. You might be doing it wrong. So for all-purpose flour, we're talking 120 grams per cup. For example, King Arthur. You might have a little difference with other types of flour, but that 120 number, that's pretty accepted. With bread flour, it's a little bit heavier and has a little bit more of those proteins in there to give it that elasticity, that chewiness. It comes in about 127 grams per cup for the bread flour. For cake flour, mmm, -hmm, that's a little bit lighter, 114. Much like pastry flour, these are lighter because it's a finer, fluffier flour, so there's less mass in each cup. Whole wheat flour is even heavier. It's the heaviest, in fact, here per cup. And that's because it not only has those proteins, but it has some of the fibrous material from the kernel of the wheat. And that's denser, gives you more mass per cup. We've talked about our pastry flour here being lighter. It is the lightest of the flours because it's so fluffy. And then finally, self-rising flour here, that's the same as the all-purpose. So that's how many grams are in one cup of flour. When you're measuring out your flour, you need to spoon it in to the cup and then level it off with a knife. If you take the cup and dip it down into the bag of flour, you're gonna compress the flour and then you're gonna get too much. You're gonna get too much flour in there. That's gonna mess up your recipes. This is Dr. B, looking at how many grams of flour are in one cup. Depends on the type of flour. Thanks for watching.